At this point in my life, I'm still, uh, you know, to use the, the airplane analogy, when the oxygen masks drop down, I'm still getting my oxygen mask around my face before helping others. And that's something that I'm not the best at. I will uh, lean into helping others before helping myself and before kind of making sure that I'm in a good spot. My name is David Ian Johnson, and I was born on April 28th, 1989. I was born in Redwood City, California, a city just south of San Francisco. I was the first child in my family born in the U.S. Uh, my family emigrated from South Africa. Biggest sources of happiness for me is helping friends accomplish things that they want to accomplish. Ultimately to have, have someone be a friend and to be a friend to someone you just have to be able to place yourself in their shoes and kind of be empathetic towards their situation and, and in, enjoy their perspective and learn from them and kind of want to get to know each other, want to get to invest in uh, spend time with each other. I think that's that's what makes friendships. I think I can be in a position where I end up helping others before myself because it's more gratifying in some ways. I think a lot of times you can think of helping yourself as a um, selfish thing. It takes getting to a place where you understand that helping yourself first isn't selfish in the long run because it's putting you in a better position to help others. I don't think I'll ever accomplish everything that I want to do. I think I'm always I'm always looking forward, even as I'm accomplishing things, looking forward at what else I want to do. I think some of the things that I'm hoping to build are uh, just a good community. I think it's important to have good people surrounding you and people to kind of experience life with. I would like to be able to kind of build, a, continue to experience life in a, in a large way so, so that while having kind of a local community, I can build a global community as well. And, an understanding of the world as a as a whole. I think growing up being able to travel and being able to meet people with different perspectives and from different cultures was really important and really helped me grow as a person and to be able to create that experience, continue that experience for myself and create that experience for for other people in my community or for eventually my children. I think that's important. I think love's an interesting thing. It doesn't always work out. Eventually it's a decision that you, you kind of care more about someone else's well-being than yours. It comes with a sense of knowledge, it comes with kind of knowing enough about a person um, that you can make that call that you, you want to invest into all their kind of positives and negatives. You know, but maybe I'll experience something down the road that's even deeper and even more meaningful and I'll realize that what I thought was love then wasn't really love and ultimately in second grade I wasn't in love with, you know, my second grade crush. That might be something that continues to, to evolve and how you define it and how you feel it. I'm a very social person and kind of only recently I've learned to give myself a little bit of um, downtime and alone time to, to kind of reconsolidate and reassemble my life. Being with other people doesn't necessarily kind of fill that. I think being with feeling understood um, and feeling kind of um, accepted can affect uh, the feeling of loneliness. So you can be around a lot of people, but if you feel isolated from them, not physically, but kind of emotionally or empathetically, that can still bring a sense of loneliness. Happy birthday to everybody born on April 28th. Thank you for watching. We're uploading an episode every single day featuring a different person. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.